Kami's health and stun were both reduced from 925 to 900. She's now tied with Akuma as the frailest character in the game. Stain Fierce has 4 extra recovery frames on Whiff with a wider hurt box. This is one of the game's best counter pokes and had reward way beyond its risk, but this is a pretty significant nerf. Low forward had the same nerf, 4 extra frames on Whiff and a wider hurt box. It might sound like I'm exaggerating, but these two pokes are her main footsie tools on the ground, so making them more dangerous to miss base is going to make her a lot worse. Previously, Kami would whiff these normals on purpose and buffer cancels to Spiral Arrow. So these nerfs are killing one of Kami's main strategies in neutral. Note that these normals are still fantastic counter pokes in their own right, even if they're more vulnerable to counter poking themselves. Stand forward is now minus 4 on block, down from minus 2. This should have no significant impact in terms of punishing, since Kami players won't ever press it at close range, but it means the opponent has more time to counter poke after blocking it. Hard Spiral Arrow had its damage increased by 20 and its stun by 30. This is Kami's preferred combo ender, so that's a nice buff. However, there's now less range on the first hit, so it's going to get the second hit only more frequently when used as a whiff punish. Previously, this was probably the best whiff punish in the game. You have to be alarmingly close to get both hits now. It even falls out in some combos. Kami players can substitute Medium Spiral Arrow for more damage in routes where Heavy loses the first hit. This change is especially notable since only the first hit super cancels, so it's much harder to get a super cancel on a whiff punish. VS1 is now plus 4 on block, up from plus 2. This is welcome because it's now a 3 frame trap into stand strong or even stand fierce. However, the main issues with this move are its long startup and lack of setups, not its lack of frame advantage. BT2 got a bunch of buffs. The Delta Step has 2 frames less recovery, meaning you can get conversions off more starters. And get better conversions off existing starters. Additionally, you can alternatively special cancel the step if the recovery is too long to allow you to link anything. Standing and crouching forward were also buffed so that the trigger cancel would happen sooner, giving Kemi better conversions off each. Even still, I would personally never pick BT2. Even with all the buffs it's gotten over the years, and even factoring the introduction of V-Shift, I still think the dive kick from BT1 is much too good to give up, and the higher damage BT1 offers is also very enticing. Personally, I didn't 100% buy into Kemi being top 1 last season, or if she was, it was only by a tiny margin. These nerfs are definitely going to make her rethink the way she plays, and I'm still not impressed by VT2 or either of her V skills. Overall, I still think Kemi's going to be a solid character with no significant bad matchups, and I don't think you need to move off her if you play her, but I doubt she's going to be considered among the top tier going forward. But to be honest, I think more people are going to be happy to hear that than sad.